Imagine it's a new year and you're ready to start an Airbnb business. You've got your dream house ready and some extra space. Now you're just ready to make it happen. But how do you get started? You're probably wondering, what do I need to know? Well, I must admit that you're asking the right question. So here's the deal. If you watch until the end of this video, not only will you know the things you need to start an Airbnb business in 2023, but I wanna show you the most important hack in starting this business without owning property at all. So without wasting any more time, here are the seven things you need to know when starting an Airbnb business in 2023. Number one, understand your goals. Trust me, it's easy to get lost in the excitement of starting an Airbnb business. But before you even start your search for a place to live in a room or space to rent out, it's important to understand what your goals are. That's right, your goals, not the business plan, not the ROI, not finding investors, but simply your goals. Why? Because think about it. If you don't know what they are, then you can't measure them, and that makes it impossible to know whether or not your business is successful. If you have an idea of what you want, it will be easier to find a place that fits the criteria. If you don't know what you need, it will take longer to find a place that will work for your business. If your goal is to make as much money as possible, then you will probably want to do everything yourself. But if your goal is for your guests to have a great experience, then you might want to hire someone else to help out with the cleaning and maintenance of the property. Another thing that you need to consider when starting an Airbnb business is how much time you have available. If you don't have enough time, then it may be better for you to just rent out the property on a short-term basis instead of trying to manage it yourself. Keep watching because in a minute I will tell you the exact reason why choosing a location for your Airbnb business is crucial, but make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that it can be spread to more people. Number 2. Know your rental market. Airbnb is a unique business model, but it's not one that can be successful without knowing what you're getting into. And this includes knowing the current rental market. What is the best way to do this? Talk with local property managers, landlords, and other people who are involved in renting out homes for short periods of time. Learn about their experiences and get their insights into how the market is currently performing. It's important to have a sense of what the rental market is like in your area and what it's likely to be in the future. For example, if you live in an area with a lot of new construction going on, there may be more new apartments available than there are people who want them. That's great news for Airbnb entrepreneurs. But if you live in a city where people are moving out because they can't afford to live there anymore, then that might not be such good news. To be quite honest, the rental market is more competitive than ever before, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. If anything, it means there are more opportunities out there than ever before. But if you want your business to succeed, you'll need some inside knowledge about what makes these businesses successful. Number 3. Understand Rental Laws I know, you want to start an Airbnb business. You know it's the future of travel. You've heard all the stories, and you're ready to make your mark on the world by being an Airbnb host. But before you start, there are a few things you need to know about renting out property on Airbnb. The Rental Laws this is because Airbnb rental laws tell you what is and isn't allowed in your home. They also tell you how much money you can charge for a stay and other important information like who is responsible for paying taxes on the income from your Airbnb rentals. The first thing you need to understand is that there are lots of laws governing what can and cannot be done when renting out a room in your house or apartment on Airbnb. And the laws vary by state and city. I'm not trying to scare you, but if you don't know the rules, then there is a chance that your rental could be shut down by the government or sued by an unhappy tenant. You'll also have a hard time finding guests for your property if they're worried about breaking any laws. Number 4. Location is everything If you've been watching this channel for some time, I always emphasize that when it comes to Airbnb, location is very important. For starters, if you want to make money on Airbnb, you need to be near a city. You can't just live in the middle of nowhere. If you do that, then people will think that your home is not worth renting out. And if people think it's not worth renting out, they won't recommend it to anyone else either because they don't want others to experience the hassle. The truth is that it's not enough to just have a cozy place for people to stay in. You need to be in the right place for your ideal customer. That means understanding where they live and what they want from their trip before you even think about opening your doors. If you're looking for a quick way to see if your city is a good fit for Airbnb hosting, here are three questions to ask yourself while you're thinking about location. First, do people who live there travel often? Second, are there any other options available within walking distance? Just a quick note, this question is crucial because Airbnb hosts make money if guests can walk to restaurants and other attractions. Remember, if you don't attract the right guests, you won't be able to make any money. So location is absolutely crucial. It's really the foundation of your whole business. Number 5. Time Commitment 
Airbnb is lucrative. Sure, no one's arguing about that, but here's the catch. It's going to take up a lot of your time. You've probably heard that this is the age of the side hustle. People are making money on their own terms, from their phones, with just a few hours a week. But if you want to make money on Airbnb, you have to commit. And I mean really commit. You're not just working for yourself anymore. Now you're running your own business in addition to whatever it is you do during the day. So how much time should you expect to put into your Airbnb business? I recommend starting small and growing from there, about two or three hours per day for the first month, then gradually increasing as needed. Now, if you've discovered this channel for the first time, you should know that every week we upload new videos for all your real estate needs. Therefore, if you want to stay up to date, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. Number six, welcoming tenants. There's not much more to say about this, except that you need to make sure the process of welcoming new tenants is as easy, smooth, and seamless as possible. When you're starting out, it's all about building relationships with your customers. And the first step in that process is making sure that they feel like they've made a good choice when they book with you. So how do you do that? It's simple, be friendly, be helpful, and make sure your place looks its best for them. If you're a seasoned host, this may sound like a no-brainer, but it's important to remember that the first impression matters. Even if you're renting out your property for the first time, it's crucial that you make sure your guests feel welcome and comfortable from the moment they step foot on the premises. It's important for your business's reputation to have a good first impression on new tenants, so that they feel comfortable and excited about their stay at your Airbnb. And it's not just because it's the right thing to do, it's also good business sense. When people feel comfortable and at ease in their surroundings, they're more likely to enjoy their stay and maybe even tell their friends. Number seven, charge for the rent. What is the most important thing you need to know about starting an Airbnb business? The rent, no joke. You might think it's the location and the quality of your listing, or maybe even how much time you'll have to spend on upkeep. Those things are all important, but none of them matter if the rent is too high for your guests. The cost of renting a room depends on the variety of factors, including location, seasonality, and other variables. In order to find out what your nightly rate should be, you'll need to do some research by looking at similar listings in your area and see what they're charging for the same type of room. Still don't know how to charge for rent? That's all right. Another way to determine this is by talking with other hosts in your area and asking them what they charge, or even asking them if they would be willing to share their income reports with you so that you can see how much money they make from Airbnb and how much it costs them per month. Now, here are some words to ponder. If you can't charge the right money for your space, then no one will be willing to stay there. And that's a problem because if no one stays in your home, then you're not making any money as a landlord. Bottom line is that you should know what you're up against before starting your Airbnb business. You might think it's just a matter of opening your doors, then letting the guests come in, but that's not the case. You have to be prepared for some challenges you may face along the way. In fact, if you truly want to learn how to start an Airbnb management business completely from scratch, we've created the perfect video that will walk you step by step through the entire process. So click the video on the screen now and we'll see you in the next one.